Hello guys, officially acquired the sign, made the sign shop that makes all these other signs. And uh, checking out the action here, we get this huge machine that seems to bore holes in the bottom down there, a big center hole. And, and uh, you know, we got this preparation here going on for uh, the new train that's being built in Hawaii. Very cool, costly, but I think it'll, you know, maybe people could give away a bunch of their cars, you know, to, to help pay for it. I don't know who the what the money was loaned from or whatever, but I know that it benefits Hawaii, and we should make efforts to give back to the, uh, the whoever whoever paid for the rail, you know, whoever funded it. Um, that brings me to the idea. Look at that luminescence, man. Look at that. Look at that high resolution, dude. Look at that. Woo. That brings me to the idea of uh, taxes, how people spend their tax money. And uh, I think there are two trains of thought. One of them is, you know, I want to be responsible for what I'm doing and make it happen. And the other is uh, I expect third parties to do it. You know, other people that, 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 that rich people should, you know, be taxed more heavily than the poor or whatever it is. My feeling is this. The way to success and wealth is to first, you know, a lot of people are in a, in a way compromised because of they have children, and so they have a, you know, an unusual, not unusual, but it just it, it's an obligation that may not have been advantageous to take on at this time in history, because there's it's a volatile time, you know, there are currency effects and there's there's the elements of corruption in in throughout the world and is it a place to bring a child in is it you know is it is it great to bring a child in which in a way is almost like a biological imperative or like you know greedy and that you want it to be your child and you want it to you know the you know you you just have this urge to think that you need to bring a child in but what about all the children who are suffering and starving like if you think as as one if you think globally not locally you realize that you realize that in unity consciousness see this is the the mentality that transcends whew, right this is the mentality that transcends uh, everything it transcends envy um, arguments uh, you know it's the mindset of we're all one every all these bodies are ours so let's build and improve them not just technology and infrastructure but actually bodies you know be you know if you don't find your bodies attractive don't have children you and your you know your spouse uh, you know you can invest in other people who have you know who have bodies you find attractive right it's, it's pretty, I think that's a pretty uh, simple philosophy, you know, but uh, do it, you know, make it, make it your, uh, make it your reality, you know, make, make it, make it the reality of it's all a family, but not in the sense that we're obligated to each other, this idea of family actually, it, it makes people obligated to each other, it makes people... You know, that's not actual true wealth. It's not freedom to say, oh, this person's father, son, uncle, grandfather, nephew, all of that. Those are unclear terms. There, I, 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 you know, it's either, to me, it's simple. It's either your personal, personal brother, sister, spiritual equals, not older brother, not older, you're not younger brother, but equal brothers because you have the same beliefs. And I use a term called dream team to describe that. Uh, and then you have, and then you have people who you're, you know, friends with. You know, who, who pers like, like, um, pers professional friends. You have thousands of them. People you know, you know, and that you're, you know, willing to engage with and communicate with. Um, and then you have, uh, and then you have other people. You have, you have, uh, you know, you've got, 
you've got people like I'm described earlier, like people that used to be your, you label as your son or parent, but as adults, you know, that's an authoritative and submissive role. It's not like if you had lots of money, would you label each other on a first name basis? That's the question I'm asking. Furthermore, if you really felt emotionally and financially secure, would you pursue these relations where it's like, it's kind of like, and even if you think, even if you're all nice people, right? The problem is, is you'll you'll be you'll ha you'll be of the mindset of of um, submission, even on a subconscious level. Like if you name somebody your father, and that you know you'll you'll subconsciously you'll you'll think that oh you know I want to that that I want to. Um, you know, you'll think, oh, you know, I, I want to cater to them, and, 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 you know, cater to yourself. Be, that, uh, that's your true freedom. It's, it's the difference between standing with your shoulders slumped and kind of being a follower and, and, and being, being, being not a leader, but just a follower and leader of yourself. Play different roles for yourself. Sometimes you've got to be supervisor. Sometimes you got to be just a simple kind of repetitive worker, laborer that can get through stuff and get stuff done. The the, the left brain. Sometimes, like I said, you got to be right brain. You got to creative. You got to you got to think of what you want and, and define that and and you know and sh make sure that you that you that you maintain your boundaries. You know, say yes to what you want and say no to people and things that you're not interested in. You have a clear goals and boundaries, you won't be manipulated. You won't be swayed. You won't be distracted by other people's wills. All right? And this all ties me back around to this idea of taxation. What are taxes for? You know, look into the numbers. How many, how, you know, how, how much weapons do we need? How much, um, you know, the roads that we use, like how it, you know how much should be educate towards education what works in other countries what um you know what what um you know what works for for cr criminality and drug usage in other countries and what is needed uh i think is a transcendence in all these occupations i i feel will eventually become obsolete as people become more intelligent and more reasonable and respectful and and you know uh, just community oriented the, the, there'll be less need for uh, doctors and attorneys and uh, just different people who kind of and even military and police different people who they their job in effect is to you know uh, control, uh, manage problems. But once you know, the, uh, in an ideal world, the problems go away, and the tax dollars are better allocated towards education. And it's the people's money. So anyone who works in the government and the military, just remember that it's the people's money. And so, be conscious of that. It's different than if you earn your own money through your own free enterprise and the pursuance of capitalism. You know, the government has elements of socialism in it. If you work in and around the government and and so look into the numbers guys that about taxes investigate it like see how much the roads actually cost or um, um, infrastructure actually costs and where taxes go you know and and, and, and and as an individual you know Be be just be 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 uh feel 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 good about you know these are my taxes what it, what are they used for and and uh, like I said the idea like like all this stuff like look into it this idea of food stamps and 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 and, and different things like know know what you know your positions about it. I think we should have shelters. Simple big shelters, one for women, one for men, set, you know, spread out through the, the country and just serve food there 
and uh, you know also have food that people can pick up there and and walk home you know and this this idea that other people should shoulder the burden of other people's health and mental problems it's only useful if it benefits you know the people like you have to look at efficiency like what about if the people are, are being you know selfish and and they're eating unhealthy and whatnot and then seeking medical help for their um, pre you know preventable uh, health issues all things to consider thank you and uh, easyworldpeace.com baby aloha be well guys